That's right, people. This week, the Batman is out. So let's get it. All right, people, so the Batman is star rate. Your boy, Robert Pattinson. We got Zoe Kravitz, Jeffrey Wright, and Colin Farrell, and is directed by Matt Reeves. And basically, the premise of the Batman, without me giving too much info away, it's basically year two for the Dark Knight, and the Riddler is, is out uh, terrorizing Gotham, getting rid of high uh, political figures, and basically, uh, Batman has to stop him. And that's the premise of the story without me giving too much away. So let's get straight into it, people. For all the naysayers, the people that was hating on your boy, Robert Pattinson, because all they could think about is the Twilight series. Uh, let me start off by saying, people, he did a good job. He did a good job. Um, I will say this is probably the most... Accurate comic book portrayal of the bat. Uh, and what do you mean? Uh, this is what I mean, people. DC stands for Detective Comics when they first uh, came out. Batman is known as the greatest uh, world's detective. And we, we, we see that. We see the true element of Batman being able to figure things out, clues, just basically get in detective mode. We never actually seen this portrayal like this yeah christian bale did little stuff george Clooney, val kim or even michael keaton uh ben affleck but this whole movie is based on him being a detective and i actually like that because that's an element from the comic books that a lot of the batman movies have uh never really shown that light yeah they dibble and dabble in it but in this movie you really see him be the world's greatest detective uh the storyline was 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 pretty good. I like the storyline. Acting on point. Zoe Zoe did a good job as Selena Kyle. Robert Pattinson actually did a good job as Batman. After seeing the movie, his dark emo gothic version of Bruce Wayne actually kind of makes sense when you when you watch the movie from the trailers. Because I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't really feeling his little gothic emo look. But it makes sense when you watch the movie and understand why he's walking around moping like that. Because like I said, this is year two where he's trying to figure out, yo, should I even continue doing this? Because Gotham is actually like even worse off than when I first started as Batman. And I love that element of this movie. Uh, let's get into the villain aspect. Uh, the Riddler, good villain for this movie. Could they have done a little bit more? Yes. There is a scene in this movie where the Riddler was riddling. And I'm talking about this scene. I got chills. And I was just like, yo, if we would have got more scenes of him doing this throughout the rest of the movie, he would have been up there with Heath Ledger as far as like the sadistic crazy element. He would have been up there. There's a scene. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you finally see the movie. I got chills watching the scene. This is how crazy the Riddler was, and I loved it because it showed him at, at his true, purest form, and I was digging it. I wasn't really feeling the whole mask thing with him. It kind of threw me off. I'm not no crazy uh, DC uh, comic book reader like that, so I don't know if that actual was something in the comic books from like years ago or something, but the, the mask that he was wearing with the glasses kind of threw me off. I don't know if I would have went that route. I understand sometimes... Things on the comic book pages don't relate to real life as well as they do on the comic book pages. But I think I would have came up with a different look for him. Um, another element of the movie that I wanted to talk about. The movie is three hours long. But for me, I dug it. Because I like my comic book movies to be well fleshed out. I don't like short comic book movies. I feel like regular moviegoers will feel like the movie's too long. But I felt like it needed to be so it could be well fleshed out and explain a lot of things. I can't really get into it because you guys know I like to do spoiler free uh, reviews so that I don't ruin anything for you guys. But I dug the length of the movie. Is it long? Yes. Could it have been shortened by like 10, 15 minutes? Yeah, they probably could have cut like one or two things out. But I dug it. So storyline acting was on point. Now let's get to the action. The action was good, but the negative thing 
was most of the good action sequences we saw in the trailer. Yeah, did they add it a little bit more when you finally see the movie that they didn't show in the trailer? But for the most part, the brutal beatings that we saw, we already saw in the trailer. So that kind of like was a little disappointing that, ah, you guys showed the best part of him whooping tail in the trailer. So with that being said, I needed more of Batman being Batman. I needed more of those group fights in the movie. Um, this movie is story plot driven. So I think that's an element that some people aren't going to like, that it's very plot heavy. But I'm not going to lie, I did feel like there needed to be one or two more scenes where he was going up against like 20 goons and just brutally beating them. But I will say this movie has one of the dopest intros where he's narrating um, the intro of the movie. And let me tell you something, there's like a scene in this movie where he come out the shadows and I was just like, Whoa! I just felt, I just felt it. I was like, Ooh, he the dark knight right now. And, and there, there is, there is a true dark element to this movie and I love it. I hope people don't be like, Oh, the movie was too dark. You know, no, this ain't a family movie. I love the dark element about it. He's called the dark knight for a reason. And Matt Reeves did a good job. This movie is crazy dark. Um, as far as Batman goes, He's up there for me. Um, he's up. He's right up there with Michael Keaton. Um, I know some people that love Christian Bale. Uh, Batman Begins was dark, but then the rest of the series lost that dark element. If Matt Reeves keeps on this direction with Robert Pattinson, he he could probably be probably the best Batman. Uh, the Batmobile was fire. American Muscle when he started that car up. I, I got chills just hearing the engine um roar like that. And that was actually a pretty dope on um, car chasing. That was one of the good action scenes in the movie. Um so overall, people, to wrap it up, this movie, I liked it. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I think it was worth the hype. Selena Kyle, Catwoman, Zoe Kravitz did her thing. Robert Pattinson did his thing. The acting was good. Jeffrey Wright as um not Commissioner Gordon, who's he's lieutenant. So, like I said, this movie is year two. So it's not an origin story, which I liked. We don't need to see him begin and League of Shadows. We don't need to see that. This is year two and him trying to figure out like, yo, should I even be Batman anymore? Because, you know, y'all wilding out even worse than when, when before I became Batman. So he's trying to figure things out. And just overall, the movie was awesome. I liked it. So on the kind of a scale, a 1 to 10, I'm going to give this movie a solid 8.5 just because... I needed a little bit more Batman, Batman, Batmaninging, and I needed a little bit more Riddler, Riddling. You get what I'm saying? There was other scenes where he did a dope job, but there's this one scene where you just see the sadistic, crazy, like, maniac serial killer. And I was like, yo, if we would have got more scenes like that, yo, he would have been top tier villain. But other than that, people, Batman is definitely worth Regular admission, nighttime admission, IMAX, Blu-ray, 4K, you name it. You get this movie on every platform when it comes out. It's definitely one of the top DC movies. And I think Robert Pattinson is going to be in the talk of who who's the best Batman. I think he deserves that Um, because he, he did a good job. And I'm, I'm actually looking forward to seeing him play Batman again. So, you guys know the drill. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. After doing that, hit the bell button so you get notified every time I upload a video. Please, leave a comment at the bottom. Let me know what you thought of The Batman. And hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.